Hello everybody, I'm Frida Stauffer. I'm having a New Mexico pile up for breakfast. Um, it can have meat on it, but I, I didn't put meat. Some people put bacon and I was thinking sausage, you know, little sausages would be good on it. But um, I didn't put any meat. I just have eggs and um, cheese on mine, a little bit of shredded cheese. And I'm going to put the hot sauces. These are Hatch Valley chilies. There's some mild, I'm gonna put a little mild. Um, Kroger was selling these. I don't know if these are still selling them or not. Uh, <laughs> this paper is on real tight. So my eggs are easy over. In the middle of cooking my breakfast, there was an accident outside. I heard a loud uh, thump and I heard tires squealing and I told my son, come on, there's been an accident. So we went outside to see. Now this mild one does have a little bit of a bitter taste. I remember <clears throat> trying multiple times to make this sauce and throwing it away because it tasted bitter. This one tastes a little bit bitter, but it's not severely bitter. Um, now I'm gonna put some of the green on. Maybe the green won't be as bitter, I don't know. <laughs> um, But, so we went outside because to see if everyone was okay. Oh God, they were shook. And I know exactly how bad an accident is, feels when you're in it because I've been in accident in the past. Well, I should shake it up because all I got was a little broth. Hey, Theodore, what are you doing? What are you doing up here? Mohammed, Theodore's in here. How did he get in here? A little girl was screaming, mommy, mommy. After the accident and just made me, to me, I heard my daughter screaming because no, I, I felt like how I would feel if it was her. I guess it's called empathy. Um, yeah, so the Green is a uh, chunkier. It's not as smooth as the red. Now I'm gonna put some of the hot, no, this is, I already did the mild, so let me see if I can put a little of the hot on too. The potatoes are, were cooked with chopped onions. I don't know if, uh, if that is a thing they also do in New Mexico or not, but I guess they do whatever they want. It's up to the cook. <laughs> um, this one also has a bitter taste, but it's not overpowering. And the hot, um, to me, it's not that hot. <laughs> okay, Bismillah. <sighs> yes, accidents turn your life upside down. Bismillah. My eggs are easy over. Mohammed had his eggs uh, scrambled. Mmm. When it's all mixed together, it tastes pretty good. Um, I imagined that if I buy it from the store, it won't taste bitter, but it does. Um. 
So I guess the bitter taste is just characteristic of those chilies that we use, that is used in, in uh, the Hatch Valley. <laughs> That's what they grow there. Hatch Valley, New Mexico. <clears throat> mm. I just put a little um, Tony Chacheries. More, uh, more spice on the potatoes and onions. Mm. Now, I want to taste the green one. Mm. I don't get a bitter taste from the green as much. Yeah, the green ones are not that bitter. I mean, I barely get any bitter from them. So I think the red is more bitter. Tastes really delicious. So Ali had COVID, he tested positive and um, the other kids tested negative, but he also has an ear infection, so. He tastes the mild with the, with the food. Mm. It tastes good. The bitter flavor isn't as strong if you just use it uh, like drops of it. If I were to pour some on, it would taste more bitter. And a lot of people eat a tortilla with it, but I didn't think I needed a tortilla because this looked like enough food as it was. And I didn't want to overdo it on the cheese either. Just a little sprinkle. I wanted to make a little guacamole, but my avocado was too green. So I uh, diced it with and put it in with the potatoes and onions after the potatoes and onions were cooked. I added the avocado a little bit. I don't know why I craved a <laughs> New Mexico pileup, but a year ago or a year and a half ago, I was still working on a, on a series, and I keep thinking I'm going to go back to that series again. And I keep getting stuck on New England. <laughs> I think it was New Hampshire. No, not New Hampshire. One of the New England states, I I was uh, working on it and I was, I kept trying <laughs> to make the recipe. One time I did it, but then I had saved it on my phone and my phone broke and then I lost it completely. So, um, I don't know. I'm gonna start over with that. Eventually, I'm gonna go back to that series, but that's how I learned about New Mexico pileups for breakfast. Yeah, 
<sighs> anyway, I feel so bad for the people that were involved in the accident, especially the little girl because when she cried for her mommy, I felt like my daughter's crying for me. Uh, I feel bad for people who have an accident because we've been in accidents before and they were awful. I don't know what I'm gonna make for dinner. I was thinking of pasta. The kids are really love pasta. Mm. And I was also thinking of making cornbread and black eyed peas and sweet potatoes. I finally brewed myself coffee. I think I, I scrubbed my coffee pot, my, my percolator in May or June. And I didn't percolate any coffee all summer because I felt it was uh, too hot, uh, too hot to brew coffee on the stove. I preferred cold brewed after I got the little cold brewer from Aldi, I loved it so much and used it over and over. Well, I'm gonna go now and let all of you enjoy your day. And I hope all of you have a blessed week. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.